All right, kids, we're going to do a step-by-step how-to on how to do a Donald Trump Chia pen. Celebrate your freedom of choice for our 45th president, Hillary Clinton, or Donald Trump. Show pride and support with a well-known American icon. Chia. With Chia Hillary Clinton and Chia Donald Trump. Just water and watch them both grow. Own the special limited edition. Also, Chia Sanders and Chia Obama. Order now at Chia.com or Amazon. Buy the entire presidential collection, a great collectible gift. All right, so uh, this is what the box looks like. And uh, you can see they've got a few different uh, choices on characters, the cast of characters. Um, we've got, uh, so this is the inside of the box. <clears throat> and uh, the instructions are real simple. You can also find them online uh, and as well as having them inside of the package. <clears throat> so did I follow these instructions? Yeah, yeah, really I sort of did, but not really. I wound up using like three times as many chia seeds as you're supposed to, which didn't really help things. I think it sort of helped, but you'll see in the video later what it looks like. I'm gonna unbox the rest. Alright, so it's time to take this puppy out of the box. We got our tray. Right, we got your little watering the, uh, tray. This is basically what your uh, chia pet's gonna set in. Obviously. Right, chia seeds. Little retainer there. Make sure Donald doesn't get smashed up in shipping. And there we are, Mr. Donald Trump, the uh, new president, the president elect of the United States of America. So uh, the instructions basically say the first step is to uh, submerge your chia head in water. And um, there's a little tiny hole at the top of the chia pet that uh, you're going to fill with water. And then basically, well, ultimately you fill it with water every day to water it. Uh, but for me, um, I started with the chia seeds, and uh, I didn't actually read the instructions, so shoot me, right? Um, but uh, basically, you're going to cut the bag of the seeds or rip them open, you know, grab it with your teeth, uh, use your sword, whatever you want to do. Um, dump your seeds in the, in the water. So I used a quarter of a cup of water. Like, I measured the water, but I didn't actually uh, read the instructions. So anyway... Uh, you're supposed to stir the seeds around, and you want them to get like a snotty kind of consistency, what you know, like a slimy sort of consistency. And um, <clears throat> so I, I started with the chia seeds so that I could let them soak because you're supposed to let them soak for a half of an hour. Um, so you move those to the side, and you kind of let them uh, marinate, so to speak. And then we'll get back to uh, DT, Donald Johnny Trump. So he's getting ready to come back on the scene. Here he comes. So Donald Trump is back in action. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, an old Fisher Fisher's popcorn uh, bucket. And uh, we are going to fill that rascal with water. And uh, like I said, there's a little hole on the top of the Chia Pet uh, that you use for watering. So what I did was I filled the bucket up with water. And then I filled the chia head up with water, and I just put the chia head upside down inside the bucket of water. So you got to let that soak there for a half an hour too. Okay. So if you don't fill him up with water, he just floats. Okay. So here you go. This is this is where I figure it out. Where you got to fill the head up with water. Um, of course, if you've got like a big old pot that you want to get dirty, and you want to submerge the whole thing, you know, with the base at the bottom and the head at the top, and then let the water soak on the inside. I mean, more power to you, but um, I wasn't trying to dirty up any more dishes, uh, obviously, as you can tell. So. Um, so this is a fine product of China. So here we are now. Uh, the seeds have been soaking, so they got that, like, jelly kind of consistency. And um, time to take the head out of the water. And then essentially what you need to do is uh, spread the seeds on top of the head. And if you notice, uh, the top of the head, the, the, the all the area where you're supposed to adhere the seeds to is ridged so his hair looks like it's been combed and essentially the seeds are supposed to fit inside of that combed area so maybe my next go around I might you know if I decide to do this again maybe the next go around I might uh, decide to just use the actual amount of chia seeds um, but uh, anyway so I've emptied the water out this is how the things this is how the chia pet sits inside of the tray and um, you can see uh, Donald Trump there in all of his glory, um, about to get himself a new hairdo. 
And uh, you can see this seed mixture is really gloopy and gloppy and real sort of snotty. So uh, fork wasn't exactly the best uh, utensil to use for this uh, metal fork. So I wound up switching up to a popsicle stick here in a little bit. And I really layered the seeds on. All right. So I ain't going to lie. I wanted to give Donald Trump the biggest head of hair he's ever had. So uh, I switched up to a little popsicle stick we had hanging around. So basically, um, I just piled the seeds on, and then um, you, know, you keep spreading them around, and you let, I let them sit up for a little bit, and then I piled some more on top because I didn't want to waste the chia seeds. And obviously, I I had realized that I had made too many, you know, put too much chia inside of the water. By this this moment, I realized that I did something wrong. So um, I just rolled with it, and. Um, you know, I put uh, I put three times the amount of chia seeds up on this head that uh, than you were supposed to, but uh, it turned out okay. So, um, you know, this is spreading the seeds, and he's got a lot of uh, area here for seed spreading. Uh, and uh, you know, you got to get those sideburns, and um, you know, get behind the ears and whatnot, get that neck. And um, you know, if you get any anywhere, uh, you know, if you get any chia seeds. In an area where they're not supposed to be, whether it's not a designated chia seed area, you could just wipe it off with your finger. Uh, no harm, no foul. They don't stain or uh, leave any marks or whatnot. And um, it's really easy cleanup. So um, I know I get a little out of frame, but here we go. We're back again. And uh, you can see I got a couple of seeds on his uh, back, which will just play into his mullet that he'll get later. And um, I did uh, clean up the face a little bit, so uh, here we are. I'm just piling more seeds on, and you can see that hole I was talking about. So um, in the instructions, it says to uh, cover your um, Chia Pet with a bag, and so as you can see there, I covered it with a bag there for a little bit. Uh, we'll probably get to see a little bit of that later. Um, just doing a little cleanup work for old DT. And let's see where we're we going next. All right, so this is uh, day two. Uh, you can see the chia seeds have started to sprout, and he's got a little sweat glistening on him. And uh, essentially, the chia, the water sweats out of the clay, so it uh, drips into that drip pan, and it keeps it from going all over your counters. So definitely use the drip pan or something else, and. Um, you have to fill this up every day. So uh, as you can see, I really loaded this thing up with chia seeds, which uh, you know looks kind of gross right now, but it will get better um, as they start to grow out. So um, let's see. So I put a bag over the top of the uh, chia pet, as it says in the instructions, to kind of help growth. It was a little cold here, so I think it helps retain moisture and heat and helps it grow. Uh, as you can see, Donald Trump's got a little rat tail coming down on the side, uh, which is kind of nice. It helps uh, add to the style that he's got going on. Um, as you can see, he's got a full head of hair going on there, and uh, you can see the chia seeds are uh, sprouting right on through at this moment. Um, they are, you know, the, the black stuff that you see there is the seed or the husk. Um, I guess it's called the husk or the kernel of the seed. And, um, you know, it feels kind of like firm when you press on it. But, um, you know, as they poke through, I think that uh, that shell is supposed to disappear. But um, as you can see, the water was uh, draining out of it. So what you've got to do every day is just basically fill the thing up with water. And, uh, you know, Donald, Twins, Donald Trump's got the night sweats. Uh, so this is the day number three. You can see it's growing. It's still growing out. I left the bag off of it. On this day because as you can see where it was touching in the in the back uh, he's got <clears throat> a little bit of an indentation so <clears throat> but um, you know again the trays filled with water all right so this is uh, Donald Trump this is about a week into it um, since we uh, about a week since we spread all the chia seeds around uh, as you can see this is I guess why they tell you not to put too many seeds on at a time uh, because it gets all all funky up there. Um, but in the back, it turned out pretty nice. Um, you can see we've got a nice full head of chia hair around here. 
a little bit of a bald spot and, and um i don't know i had a pretty good time with it wasn't too bad uh <clears throat> keeping up on this but we're gonna give him a little haircut since we're here it smells real earthy too by the way so a little bit a little bit of funk in here but what do you expect when you got Donald Trump in your kitchen? You're going to have a little bit of funk. You're going to get funked up. Let's see here. All right. So we're going to let uh, Donald Johnny Trump's uh, bald spot uh, flow freely. And um, let me actually peel this off a little bit more. Truth be told, we're going to give Donald Trump the uh, the curly look from the Three Stooges. His little rat tail's getting a little ratty. All right, so here we are. Look at this... Uh, I'll firm down. All right. Nominate this DT. Look at that. There we go. He's got a look. <laughs> well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Subscribe, like, click whatever that's going to have YouTube pay me the most money. So I appreciate you watching. Thank you. Bye.